Hello, my name's Mr. Spamble. Whoa, that feels weird to say. I need to stop vanishing. And today, as you read in the title, we're talking about what the heck happened to Unturned. Obviously, there was some very sad news. Hello? Brad? Well, I guess he's dead now, so it's alright. Anyway, continuing along, there's a new map. Very, very exciting. Unturned life kind of ended. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in more depth. And some major change. Oh, for God's sake. Brad! <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> and if you're not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell button. We recently hit 32k, Bradley. What's that? Come on. That's like... 10. <laughs> and if you haven't already, make sure to get a server from Pine Hosting. Uh, it's, it's kept me fed when I wasn't uploading, so I really appreciate everyone who's got a server. You can use my code, Mr. Spammel, to get 40% off your first month. Epic deal. Am I just... My leg's shorter than yours. What's going on? Brad. Accurate to real life, isn't it? Whoa, Bradley. So for those of you who haven't seen, he did an announcement talking about, you know, he's taken a bit of a break from Unturned Life. Very sad to see, especially because, I mean, we've also taken a break from Unturned Life. I think the last video we did was called... We took a break from everything, but... Yeah, I mean, true, but, like, it's been quite a while since the last episode of Unturned Life, which I'm very sorry about, by the way, for those of you who've been asking. And it was uh, quite the cliffhanger with Brad dying, so... We should probably uh, revisit that at some point, Brad. <laughs> Could be dead, who knows? I mean, he has done like 600 episodes, so I imagine that's something to do with it. No one turned two, probably also factors into it. And just in general, although I thought we were going to do like a new map. There is no official date, as far as I know, of when we're coming back to Unturned Life, when Fudgy's coming back to Unturned Life, but we will keep you updated and maybe do a video announcing it. I don't know, just keep your eyes Healed, Bradley. Those beady, evil-looking eyes you got there. Next up on the Unturned News is a new map was released called... Um, <laughs> Kiwi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kiwi, Bradley. Kawite, I believe. Okay, a new map has come out. I don't know how to say it, but Spell and I have both played it for a bit on a nice server with a bunch of peoples, and it was quite enjoyable. Um, I like the map. The sounds are nice. It's got some pretty cool items. I don't know. I think generally people like it. I've seen a lot of people saying it's one of their favorite maps. So if you haven't seen that map, make sure to go check it out. It's, There's plenty of servers on it, so you'll... Yeah, it's uh, easy I was going to make a video talking about the new map, but by the time I was going to, there were only plenty of videos on it. So, Because uh, apparently, this is very sad, by the way, other YouTubers got early access. I didn't get early access, but... <laughs> <laughs> so sad. Pretty cool map. Haven't really explored it in detail. Got some more looking around to do. We might pop on after this. I don't know, Brad. Um, we just did some basic kind of messing around on it. I like the whip. Have you seen the whip, Brad? It's funny because it's, I have seen it's, the whip, it's yes. really dangly and when you switch from first to third person, it like straightens up. I don't know. It's weird to say, but uh, it's great fun. I highly recommend the, the whip. <laughs> 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 so, the sad thing about created maps is they have like loads of hype, loads of people play them and then they always seem to like die off quite quickly so hopefully this map manages to keep its player base and people don't just go straight back to washington like they always do probably because uh washington is the best map don't even don't disagree brad it is the best map you can't say any different right uh, sure sure i i think hawaii is the best map but anyway no 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 washington is the best map you know comment down below which is the best unturned map if it's anything other than washington yukon yeah <laughs> Tell you what, Brad, you are really <laughs> controversial, aren't you? Yukon. Yeah. The roleplay on Yukon's amazing, this was fun. I haven't opened Yukon for so long. Anyways, <laughs> moving along to the third and final part. Changes, Bradley. What has been going on? Alright? You're gonna be much more dun, up to dun, date dun. with all of this stuff. But what what what's he changed? What's he done now? So over the past a few weeks, I'd say two weeks. Nelson has been debating back and forth with the community on a pretty major change. Um, so I'll give you the short and sweet of it. Pretty much on the 28th of May, he is stopping all servers from selling repeatable purchases. So the examples that he listed was um, you can't sell in-game items, weapons, ammunition, supplies, etc. You can't sell in-game vehicles, you can't sell experience, and you can't sell currency. All because those are things that are like expirable and people have to um people will like be encouraged to buy more of those so yeah he debated that a lot with the community and server owners obviously the there was a lot of mixed opinions quite a few people were supporting it and wanted nelson to implement it and then there are a lot of server owners i think most server owners generally didn't like it obviously for um quite obvious reasons they're going to lose money because of it 
Um, but yeah, we won't get into that too much. If you want to read up more about it and, you know, make your own opinions, we will leave a link to all the relevant information, including an interview type thing, podcast, I don't know what you'd call it, that um, Fuji and Brad did with Nelson. So, you know, you can have a look at it. I highly recommend you look into it, but, you know, like, you've got to take into account everyone's point of view. Um, at the end of the day, this is a pretty major change. I'd argue it's one of the biggest changes he's done in, like, recent years, to be honest, because his other changes are much more minor. Maybe adding, you know, new item, new created map, but this directly affects yeah. people's income. I'm not going to talk about my opinions on it. That is not what the Mr. Spammel channel is about, all right? We have no political opinion, Bradley. This does seem like a bit of a shift from what Nelson has said previously. There's a clip of him in a Zumbi interview where he basically said the exact opposite to what he's doing now, which is strange to see. I'm not sure what made him decide to flip his point of view like that. So another question I got from another YouTuber was um, a lot of, if not all of like 3.0 servers now, they're like pretty much unregulated, right? Like if you want to do like slash I slash kits, whatever you want to do, where you don't even have to do anything to get gear, like a sandbox server, um, it's pretty much unregulated now. Do you think it's going to be more regulated for 4.0? So not every server is like TPA home kits, like, you know, that kind of whole deal or is it going uh, to be like more restricted for the official servers i don't want to have anything like that in four mm. and i think if the game is better designed for survival i think that will help encourage people to play the game the way um, it was meant to be played yeah the way it was meant to be played i think the fact that there are so many people who do play that though means that there's obviously people who who enjoy that yeah uh, so it's not like i would have a rule or anything like i don't want to have any rules about servers servers can do whatever they want yeah, i think yeah. when companies try and step in and enforce things on their game servers that generally ends badly so i don't want to like say what you can and cannot do yeah i um, gotcha but but like the official thing is they'll be more geared towards like vanilla in like just the true you know like experience whatever it is it's uh strange to see and i hope he doesn't keep trying to make major changes in unturned 3 because this has been my opinion for quite a long time um unturned 3 doesn't need changes all right it didn't need the new sounds it didn't need anything really like created maps different obviously he doesn't make them um, and it's a nice way of him getting extra revenue from skins and stuff, but Unturned 2 needs more development. It's been... At the end of the day, once Unturned 2 is out, you can do whatever you want. You can set the ground rules, um, but at least I think it's quite late now to be putting these things in place. It's five years down the line, um, and the game's doing perfectly fine. Just focus on the game that everyone's waiting for, please, Nelson. That's what we want. But anyway, thank you everyone so much for watching, you know, leave your thoughts down below. You know, we're very respectful here on the Mr. Spammel channel. So, uh, you know, no fighting in the comments, right? We're all on time players, respect each other. And if you haven't already, then subscribe, all right? That's the ultimate respect. <laughs> Should I hit that subscribe button? Hit that bell button. Get a pine hosting server if you want to feed this African kid right here. And I'll see you in the next video. What the? <laughs>